Hello, and for those listening at home uh, or watching, um, I'm James O'Keefe, Captain of the Massachusetts Pirate Party, and you're joining our May 4th, 2023 member meeting. Uh, we have a um, we have a conference coming up in Lowell on the 13th, uh, and I'm joined today by um, Quartermaster Joe and member and all around jack of all trades and excellent person mickey how are you two doing fantastic awesome i second that for now the moment yes good excellent um so for our agenda it is listed here um for reports um, what I can report is we have um, we have signed up to to march at least in the trans resistance march, um, which I believe is June third, um, and we've signed up for the Boxboro Fifers um, uh, festival. I think. And that is June 17th. Uh, we'll have a table at that. Um, there will be an email has gone out earlier in the week. There'll be another one this weekend with details and sign up forms and stuff like that um, so that people can go and say they're going to come to either of those two events. Um, one thing that is not on this is, let me find it. Uh, while I look for that, Joe, do you have anything to report? At this time, I do not. Okay. I would ask about the Anarchist Book Fair. That's something we want to be at. Is that coming up? I thought that's usually November. Yeah, yes, a long way ahead. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely be at that one. All right, great. At least that's the plan. Um, so uh, the, the other thing is on May 23rd from 1230 to 230, the Cambridge uh, City, the City of Cambridge's Public Safety Committee will be meeting to review the Cam various Cambridge cities, the agencies reports on their use of surveillance technology. Um, we would love if people can attend, um, you know, and circulate information about this upcoming meeting. We'll probably put it in the description and we'll post about it at masspirates.org. Um, you know, there'll be, you know, presentations about things like uh, Shot Spotter, Thomson Reuters Clear, uh, cooperation, suspending cooperation with the uh, BRIC or the Boston Regional Information Center, uh, which is, you know, one of those, you know, local, municipal, state, federal government police all get together and you know maintain things like ill <laughs> like lists of um you know list of quote unquote gang member lists that that has um you know so many inconsistencies it's pretty much useless or you know trying to promote more surveillance cameras and shot spotter and stuff like that um, so this notice came via Alex Matthews of um, Digital Fourth um, and Massachusetts there at warrantless.org. Um, so we'll we'll have more about that, but just wanted folks to know about it. Uh, and then I think if there's anything else on the, anything else of notice? Uh, yep, and then I, 
uh, we'll get to it later. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about pirate news at the end. Um, so in terms of decisions endorsements, we have this pro cash plank. Um, the tentative one is, and I'll go switch to the etherpad, um, which is cash is the first P2P service. People have used cash for over 2,500 years. While cash is created by governments, it exists as an anonymous form of personal exchange around the world, unlike many cryptocurrencies, which use vast amounts of electricity. Often generated from dirty power plants, the use cost of cash is trivial. Other digital payment systems, such as PayPal or Venmo, are centralized, charge a fee, and are not anonymous. Cash is, the, is a true peer-to-peer -peer form of exchange, and we oppose businesses requiring payment using digital means. We urge everyone to support local business, businesses by cutting out financial intermediaries, such as credit cards and the predatory cut they take, and to instead use cash. Um, do we want to make any changes to that? I, I, I know personally I look through it and of the bullet points here below, I think we've covered everything. Um, but just want to get thoughts. Are we comfortable with this? Do we want to have another week of review? What do you all feel? I say yay. And um then I asked, did you run it through chat GPT? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it'll get into chat GPT as soon as we post it. <laughs> no, I like it as it stands. <laughs> Me too. All right, I agree. So uh, all in favor of adopting this as a new plank. Aye. 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 Uh, <clears throat> motion passes then. All right. Um, we can go and this will get posted. Um, and Joe, as always, the United States Pirate Party is perfectly welcome to crib, steal, copy, use as inspiration any of our planks. Because I know you've been or you've been working on that as well. So. All right, and with moving on then, um, are there- Shameless stealing, but yes. Let's walk them and talk them. <laughs> Speaking of the U.S. Pirate Party, um, I know the previous meeting wasn't really a meeting, but they discussed um, uh, the upcoming um, conference. Um, do you, have you heard anything more about that? Uh, due to scheduling conflicts, I was kidding to make the last meeting, unfortunately. Um, so I apologize about that. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen anything written up, but then I haven't really delved into it. Um, I believe there's supposed to be a form where people can um put you know get nominated or choose to be nominated for the various open positions um i would assume I there's going to be a closed. sign up form sorry i was under the impression that that already closed they oh did it i don't know i mean there's literally nothing on the website about so maybe not but I know I didn't sign myself up for nothing. So we'll okay. That goes. Um, I mean, did you, yeah, did, no. do you have that link? Can you share it? Let me go look it up. Yeah, that'd be great. You, you can get it to me later. You don't have to get it to me now. Um, well, you know how I am. If I don't do it now, I'm not going to do it at all. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, been there, done that. Um, too many times. All right. Um, so with that, um, the, uh, one of the things that was suggested, um, was to organize an earn it act.
protest. Um, and that could also be the, the, you could do a protest about the TikTok bill as well. Um, and one for like real privacy or something like that. Um, that sound like something we should organize in May slash June. Sounds interesting. Um, no objection here whatsoever. What would be involved? I mean, there are different forms. One could simply be um, so. In the past, we did. We have done protests where we went to the offices of um, both senators, um, for example, and we gave them an information packet on various laws and or, or I think at that time it was a particular law and why they should oppose it. Um, you, we could put something like that together and then have a protest outside and then have, usually they only let a small number of people go in, um, and hand in that could also do a petition as well. Um, But, I mean, I feel like if you're going to put something together, you need to know what, if you're going to put a petition together, then you need to be able to articulate the different points in the legislation that uh, you want to oppose. I mean, certainly we, we, there are posts that we have about the Earn It Act and other stuff. We could put something together. Um, we've also done stuff about the um, the, rest what is it's the Restrict Act. Uh, which is the one that would be like, if you are a corporation that is not friendly with the United States, then we can ban you. Oh, by the way, please don't ban Facebook. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Now, my real question is if Mark Zuckerberg is an actual alien. I think the jury is still out. Sorry, if Mark Zuckerberg is what? An actual alien. Yeah, but like not like not like from a different country. I mean, like outer space type alien. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Not in the least. Anything but, um, can happen. No, on the Jamie, I think I just sent you the link to you the did, applications. Yes. Okay, and maybe I just misread it. But caffeine. Black time will do. Yeah, I mean, the election's June 4th. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Anyhow, um, I'm nominating you, Jamie, for president of the universe. For what? <laughs> president of the universe. Oh, thank you. Yay. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, I don't know. We're, we're, we're in this tiny little, what, what are there, like 10 billion solar systems in just the Milky Way and 10 billion yeah, I'm not, galaxies, I'm not man? Crazy. I'm not going to sign your we're not signing you up for the multiverse, just this universe. All right. Yeah. But you're still going to be Jamie for president. <laughs> Anyways, um, so do we do we want to put something together for either the Restrict Act or or earn it um, as a protest? Uh, I mean, it would be nice to get out and and organize that. Although I think I'd probably want I mean, to do it sometime in June. Um, they finally lifted the the restrictions, or they're talking about it. So. So uh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's do it down by Beacon Hill. Okay. You you good with that, Mickey? 
Well, I don't have any time to luxury time to donate to doing much of anything. So I don't know that I should have a say. <laughs> yes, do everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, why don't we, uh, we send it to the... Sorry, go, Joe. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could just do an email and do a sign up saying, hey, if you're interested, let's go ahead and do it. And if we get five or more people saying yes, you know, or 10 or more people saying yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think that's I think that's a good good way to approach it. I can make sure that goes out in the email and like create a sign up form that people can like fill out and then we just get folks together and plan it. So. And if you know we don't get yeah. enough interest, then we don't get enough interest. So yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, maybe do that in like a pilot picnic or a pilot brunch or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should plan another one of those maybe for August or something. I think that would be a good yeah pirate picnic. Sounds Start good. Beacon Hill and walk down to the commons. Oh, that's an idea. All right, well, we'll we'll put that all into the mix and figure it out. Um, and then I know I personally have not been able to review any of the privacy bills uh, that are before our fine esteemed Congress. Um, has anyone else been able to, to, to take a look at them? I will try to take a look at it. Well, oh, okay. Um... The digital fourth, um, we have put a um, an amicus brief before the Supreme Court, and it was accepted. Um, I believe they're going to discuss it in October, and it's um, Colors versus um, Marshall on the uh, SCOTUS blog. You want to look it up? And it's Sorry, what is it called again? Cully versus Marshall. T -U -L -L -E -Y. Yes. Versus Marshall and it's about civil asset forfeiture. Well that is definitely yeah I see it right here. Um that is definitely something that we can uh we can go and support. Getting rid of civil asset forfeiture would be a wonderful yes. thing. That and um, qualified immunity have got to go. Yes, there it is, Kelly versus Marshall. And it's not, a date has not been set. But, um, it did say when you go to its page, it did say it's looking, it's not set yet, but looks like October, someone told me. And here's indeed their brief on February 26, 2023. Woohoo! Yay, restore the fourth. All right. Um, yep, let me go switch back to them. All right, uh, that's certainly something we should look at and uh, see about supporting. Um, yeah. In terms of projects, as I mentioned, um, upcoming events are the Trans Resistance March and Festival and uh, the Boxborough Pfeiffer's Day, which is on June 17th. We've got a table for that. Um, May 13th is our conference. Um, in terms of topics to discuss at it, um, certainly, like, that would be a good opportunity to plan whatever protest uh, we might want to do, as well as the march and, and, and the uh, Pfeiffer's Day um, event. Uh, if I may. Yeah, please. Uh, I would like to definitely start organizing uh, the campaign, at least for myself, for the upcoming year. Like targeting the districts, how, how to approach it. So I was hoping for an hour or two to really start, like, chipping away at people's brains and writing out line for what we should be doing and how we should be doing it. If that's okay. 
Yeah, no, I think that I think that sounds great. I mean, we should have a we can certainly put aside time to discuss, um, you know, running for office and planning that out. I think now would be a good time to do that. Um, I think also thinking about discussing and planning for 2024. Um, there are, um, <clears throat> you know, there are um, opportunities for uh, running candidates uh, and getting people together to, um, you know, getting, getting people together to kind of plot out both, you know, say individual campaigns like yours, as well as just a whole get up um, candidate recruitment effort um, as well. So that sounds good. Well, I think a, a big part of it too is writing out the list of things because I can execute the list with the deal, but right. having, having a good grasp of everything that must be done. And if I know that you've run before, so it's kind of like a new experience for me, but I plan on doing a lot of work like they did down in Kentucky. Um, mm -hmm. But part of the work I'm looking to do is raise in the process of generating volunteers for our own. So, I think that's going to be a big part of it too. So, having that built in form for, hey, you want to help out? Here's a pamphlet. It helps. Um, I mean, certainly we've got slide decks that people can uh, look at, um, as well as various videos on running for office as well um that you and others can use but certainly the you know that personal touch of somebody walking you through it um is useful i mean i know i personally as as having been a candidate oh that's 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 wonderful um and as as a candidate, you know, it's it's useful to read about something or to watch a video, but it is far more useful to have a training where someone walks you through the process. Um, so that that would be uh, a good thing to do. And you know, city elections are that's another thing that to talk about since we still, I believe, have time for city elections. All right, so we'll put that yeah. on the agenda. So, yes, sorry, Joe. Uh, and I was going to just say, like, in having all those links right there during the conference um, will actually probably be very helpful for anyone, if not myself and everyone else coming after. So. Excellent. No, I think that's a good, that's a good plan. Yeah, and certainly better structuring it. Uh, I know I've, yeah, that, that having bite-sized videos <laughs> with and you know questions answered and stuff like that and kind of better structure it would probably be useful as well um so that's yeah we can bring that up at the conference um and then you know at that conference we can plan for one in like august or maybe july maybe september something like that um in terms of video newsletter we didn't have pirate news last week um mickey we have scheduled to interview you this week is that still good for you this sunday um as far as i know okay so. great so we'll probably we, you know last week we we're going to talk about the latest leaks that came out um, the various government documents that a guy who lived in Western Mass and worked in the Air Force in, <laughs> what was it, in uh, the Cape? Wow, that's a commute. Um, may or may not have released, you know, innocent until proven guilty and all that. Um, 
So it's certainly something to, to talk about. So we'd love, love to hear your, your thoughts on that. Um, and then the only other thing that we have on the list. So Joe, you, you can still make it, right? Yeah, it looks like the next three weekends are open. All right, well then let's aim for the next three weekends. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and then, uh, and certainly that's one thing we could do at the, the conferences is, is, you know, towards the end, we could have like a pirate news that's more inclusive. Um, so, and then uh, have you on the PPI application, have you had a chance to put that together? No, unfortunately, I was missed the last board meeting and everything, so. Okay. Um, so. My I, suggestion I is this. Oh, I, I understand. I know. Yeah, we're all busy. Um, my suggestion is let's bring the form to the conference and we can put aside some time when we're all noshing uh, to kind of start filling that out, even if it's done, you know, written in pencil or, or pen or whatever, then that way all you got to do is transcribe it and you're done. <laughs> right. So why don't, we, why don't we aim to do that on the 13th and get that wrapped up? Okay. Sound good? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, with that, I think that's everything on the agenda. Is there anything else uh, you folks want to discuss? Um. Yeah, I don't know. Did we discuss last week? Oh no, we called the meeting short. Um, I just wanted to, yeah, just wanted to lay out a bunch of stuff going on in the world of Big Blue Button. That's oh, excellent. Um, Big Blue Button has been adopted, you may or may not know, by the state of uh, the country of France as their mm. state platform. Um, they do not use Zoom anymore. They've also oh, wow. outlawed Google Analytics in the country, France, and lawsuits and stuff like that are happening. And, uh, Vive la France! <laughs> yes, Vive la France. Um, finally, some a little bit of action gets taken. And um, so for us, that means that our new servers that um, we get through distance learning. Our friend in Maine, Stephen mm -hmm. Dame, provides our big blue button service. And um, our new server is hosted in France, which means we're not subject to like, give us your logs, you know, from the US asking us to uh, perform certain things for them. We're no longer under that rule which feels really good. So a lot of, of money has been given to the Big Blue Button um, developers that work at Blindside Networks. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them, but they're behind um, WordPress. Like when you sign up for WordPress, you get the option of having a Big Blue Button account too. Mm -hmm. And that is Blindside Networks, um, Fred Dixon. And they have um, been really going gangbusters on building new stuff into Big Blue Button lately. They have um, a lot more latitude now that they have a big budget. I, I'm not sure how much, but I think it was a couple of million dollars that uh, France poured into Big Blue Button. So, nice. yeah, at least one developer of Big Blue Button. And, right. Um, they're the ones that do are behind the development on most of the visible instances of Big Blue Button, really. Like um, for colleges, they roll it out for, for them and um, doing integrations with learning management systems, et cetera. But anyway, what it means for us is more bang for our buck. And there, um, I suggest everyone get involved in the issue queue. It's not really hard or developery. You just go there and um, search for something that you want to see as a feature. If you don't find it, you put it in, and there's a template to put it in. Like, what should it do? What, you know, why do you want it? That kind of a thing. And um, it's a fun little community. 
they start they're having conferences now i think there's one coming up or we just missed it i'm not sure so much going on but um yeah that's the big blue button update and um oh the the progress in it gives you the ability to run one instance of big blue button but have many front ends so mm. if you had a bunch of clients that had domains you could have one instance of big blue button and give them each a doorway into it that doesn't show the other rooms and and, and stuff like that but it gives you the option to add people to other rooms if you want it's kind of a federated distributed kind of community mm -hmm. but intentional intentional community so you could have like five rooms set up and you could say well you know a uh, pirate party i want to invite the uh, dsa or the um, iww to a room here that we have meetings at or whatever so it's it's really becoming um, a bigger thing than just a straight chat video chat software and many great new features are in the, the latest version so you could see them on um on our site at meet.agaric.coop where it's running the green light front end instead of it's not running wordpress as mm -hmm. the page does right so the green light yeah like um meet.coop is running the green light front end yeah um also have you had updates on meet.coop I have not heard any updates on Meet.ku. Oh, okay. I'll give the short view. Um, mm -hmm. They're at the stage now where they're, I think, working with a company out of Montreal called WebTV. To, the WebTV will host the back end of Meet.ku, and they're not sure how the governance and community part is going to work yet. Like mm -hmm. if it'll stay with the people who've conceived it, the Meet Pot Coopers, or if um, Web TV will take on part of that, but they don't seem really um, knowledgeable in some of the, the things. So it's it's interesting. It's on forum.meet.coop, and you can see the conversations going on about how to migrate the um, member rooms and memberships and um, what's going to happen um web tv is not familiar with open collective mm -hmm. so i guess they're taking a look at it now but it seems web tv is um like a very corporate structured co-op they have a board of directors and and things like that so it's more non-profit model than yes okay yeah seems to be but that's all i know and don't hold me to it because I misread too. <laughs> um, I apologize. Thanks. I must depart. Okay. No worries. Well, why don't we? Why don't we? Um, I we're going to meet next week and finalize the schedule. And I know there are two things I remembered I should have brought up about um, the upcoming events, but we can discuss those over email at the activist email list as well. So thanks a lot, Amy. And All right. Joe. So. Yes. Thank you both. Thank you very much. I will stop recording. I hope you two have a wonderful week and talk with you on Sunday. Beautiful.